Good evening everybody. We are at the Roman Baths this evening which you can see behind us. So for the next month or so they're doing these like torch lit summer evenings where they open the baths later and you can come and look around the museum as normal with the addition of a champagne bar which is down there which I will show you when we get there. It's an ancient spa. It's not to be confused with the Ferme bath spa where we visited a couple weeks ago which is the spa where you can actually like go inside and swim and stuff. This one is museum purposes only you're not allowed to swim or anything in there it is very rainy today oh you can't even see see the clouds a bit over there it's temporarily stopped so we're enjoying the outside bit while we still can <laughs> construction little headless dude very nice something we learned when we went to the bath spa it basically uses the same water that comes to here so i can tell you where the water's from because we learned that then so the water filters naturally from the mendip hills and it takes about 10,000 years to get here so the same water you see here is also used for the Fermi bath spa so it's full of minerals and stuff so it's really good for your skin but the Fermi bath spa basically tries to recreate this experience in a more hygienic way because this is really old you don't want to go in there it's not very clean they do clean it but not enough i think up until the 1970s you could actually swim in the bath so i'll see if i can find some pictures of people swimming in them so it was possible to go in there but they closed it after that for i think just the health and safety reasons construction site <laughs> like in the camera <laughs> in a building site or something yeah one thing i really like about the roman baths is that you go in assuming it's just that outdoor bit because it's so famous with the pool right but there's actually like so much inside of the museum that you can see so i really like it for that it's quite cool there's more you get more than what you think you do so worth the money bubbles maybe not there are bubbles in the water anyway you're just gonna have to believe me it's really hot how warm is this one is it 47 it would be quite toasty to go in that wouldn't it no you basically you couldn't yeah, I, don't, I think it would be way too hot you would burn yourself mm -hmm. not so pleasant hey Ali yeah. like I've seen this before where have I seen it? Oh! <laughs> I'm a Roman. <laughs> We are now sat right by the Great Bath with our champagne and <laughs> soft drink alternative. I feel very fancy. I feel like one drinking lemonade sitting by a 2,000 year old uh, terrapin. Checks out. Manu, guess how old this floor is? Um, 50 years? No, sweetie. <laughs> Do you want to know? Yeah. 2,000 years old. Wow. Wow. Fun fact of the day.
have just left the Roman baths. What was your review? It was the third time I have been there. Yeah. So, no surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, nothing's changed because it's an ancient <laughs> Roman bath. It was nice in the evening with the twist of the fire. Yeah, so we've both been Comments. before, like, I've been maybe four times, Manny's been three times before. Well, this was his third time, so we've seen it before and we, we know it's there. Like, it is a really nice museum to go to if you're in Bath. I'd really recommend going. Neither of us had been during the, like, torch-lit summer evenings that they do that I think they started doing them a few years ago. I just never got the chance to go, um, so I was very excited to go. It makes a, a nice atmosphere with the, with the torch light and stuff, right? Yeah. It's really nice on the water with the reflections and stuff, so definitely worth going in the evening if you can, um, if it's open when you visit. But the one criticism I have is that at the end, you can go up this way, at the end they usually have like a little fountain where you can actually try the mineral water like and like it. yeah you, you get a little cup of it and you can drink it to be fair it's disgusting <laughs> like it tastes almost like how I would describe blood tastes because it's so like mineral rich so you can taste like the iron in it so it's not pleasant but it's it's cool to be able to try it and that part of the museum is closed at the minute I guess because of Covid so that was the only like slightly disappointing thing but it was very cool to be able to drink champagne right next to the baths and everything, so I can't complain too much. Thank you for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>